just think, you know, it was maybe 200 years ago. This is what rivers were. The river is, uh, is, is spectacular. The water is I mean, crystal clear, doesn't, uh, doesn't fairly describe it. The ability to go up uh, Mount St. Charles and a little bit of a walk on Bear Mountain, things like that, it opens up the land as well as the river itself. We don't do a bucket list or anything like that. It's just kind of the image. You know that there are things you'd like to do, and this is one of them. All the meals are quite elaborate and really tasty, and so actually, I'm never really feeling hungry, but very satisfied. Guides have been fantastic. We're not the most experienced paddlers. Sean's given us some tips. Yeah, because this narrows, it's about this, it's not as narrow as we are here, so it's still going to be a good flow, but not as fast as here. And it's not just his knowledge of the water, it's his knowledge of of the land and the areas that we've traveled through. He's been extremely knowledgeable. The paddling is not difficult. I've never been on a river with such a strong current. Just being able to lift my paddle out of the water and sit back and, and watch the, the scenery go by is, yeah, it was really a magical moment. Did you like going on the river, Isla? Are you having a good trip? <laughs> the river is such a beautiful place. Our three-year-old daughter came along. She slept through the rapids. We have paddlers in their near 70s. This trip is for really just about everyone. More people should see it, more people should experience it, and more people should have the experience on the land. I mean, it just, uh, you know, it, 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 uh, it goes to your soul, and uh, uh, I think that's important.